in the figure below y represents so if you see here this angle is the angle that is formed uh, between the uh, the axis of the blade and the blade blade edges okay so i'll be coming to this before uh, i just discuss this i should tell you important concepts of the uh, blades of the burr so uh, if we just consider this as the cross section of the burr this is the cross section of the burr and here i just enlarge a single blade here okay so if we just enlarge it so we'll be seeing this particular is going to be the enlarged view magnified view of this now uh, suppose the burr is moving in a clockwise direction that means the face that is going to be ahead in the front of uh, that will be coming in the front right so it would be called as the rake face and the other one that is going to be the trailing end or the trailing surface that is called as the clearance face and if i just uh, uh, draw a line from the center of this particular blade to the edge of the blade from the center of the burr to the edge of this particular blade we just call this as the radial line okay so this is called as the radial line now i'll be discussing certain important angles so one angle which we see here between the rake face and the radial line is known as the rake angle it is called as rake angle so first of all i'll tell you about the rake angle this is the angle that is formed between the rake face and the radial line that is the line to the axis of the bar right so it can be zero when it can be zero it can be zero when the rake face superimposes over the radial line so if we just uh, try to understand this is the rake face and the rake face is just overlying or superimposed over the radial line that is called as zero angle when it is negative negative rake angle so negative rake angle is basically uh, when rake face is leading or is ahead of the radial line so when rake face is ahead so this is the radial line this is the radial line of course and the rake face is ahead of this right so here in this case rake face is of course ahead of the radial line so it is called as negative rake angle now when it will be positive rake angle when the rake face this particular rake face is behind okay it is behind suppose this is rake face here and this is the radial line here so if the rake face is behind the angle Uh, behind the radial line actually so that is called as the base positive rake angle so this is about the rake angle now we'll be discussing about the clearance angle so this particular angle that is formed between the clearance face and between the tooth surface now this is going to be the tooth surface on which the blade is cutting of course right so this particular angle is called as the clearance angle so if i just discuss about the clearance angle the angle between the back of the blade or the clearance face and the work surface or the tooth right is called as the clearance angle now if the clearance face uh, for example if this clearance face is curved okay it can be curved also so if the clearance face is curved then it is called as the radial clearance okay now what is the benefit of this radial clearance actually it eliminates the friction between the back of the blade that means the clearance face and the tooth right so that reduces the friction so what is the benefit of uh, curving the clearance face this is basically done to decrease the friction between the tooth and the back of the burr now there is another angle that is seen between the rake face and the clearance face or the two sides the front side this is the front side and this is the back side of the blade is known as edge angle now that is called as edge angle so uh, what is the significance of the edge angle if i just talk about the edge angle it is the internal angle at the edge formed by the two surfaces of blade of course and greater the edge angle okay greater this angle is more will be the strength of burr okay greater the edge angle greater will be strength 
of burr. So there will be less chances of fracture of this particular burr because uh, there will be more material in it, right? So these are the various concepts which we have to by default understand before we go ahead with the basic concepts of the burr. Now coming to the uh, concept which is asked in the question here. So uh, if I just uh, try to give you the correct option here. Yeah. So here you will be seeing this is why. Okay. So uh, this particular why thing is basically the spiral angle and it is formed between the axis of the burr and the flute. This is of course the flute of the burr here, right? And the flute of the burr. And that is called as the clearance angle. Okay. Now, uh, uh, if I just uh, try to understand the other important thing. Okay. So, that is called as the spiral angle. So, uh, I would just say bars with small spiral angle produce more efficient cutting at high speed. Okay. So, more efficiency of cutting is seen with bar with small spiral angle. So, can I say that the uh, spiral angle is inversely proportional to efficiency of the cutting, right? So, that is one thing which we have to remember from here. Now, if I just see between the two faces of the blade, okay, uh, this particular bar actually, and there will be an angle that will be formed that is called as X and that is called as the taper angle because that measures the tapering of this bar, okay, that is called as taper angle. If you see this W, so that is basically the length of your complete bar, right? So that is going to be the length of the bar. Then if you see this Z, that is going to be the cross section of the bar, right? So uh, these are the important angles which we have to see here. And of course, if we go back to the question, so in figure Y is going to represent, yes, the angle between the uh, axis of the bar and the one of the flute and that is called as the spiral angle and spiral angle is inversely proportional to efficiency of cutting of the bar. Okay, so answer here is going to be your spiral angle. If I just discuss other angles, rake angle, we have already discussed in the explanation in very detail. Then we have the taper angle that is telling you the tapering of the angle and that is going uh, tapering of the bar and that is going to be the X here. And then we have the blade angle or the edge angle that we have already seen, right? So uh, if we just try to understand this, so answer to this question is going to be your option third, that is your spiral angle. 